Boost Your Finance and Career for July 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free me free, free reading, hypnosis, or whatever I do. Also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. Also visit Metaphysical Meanderings at my podcast, uh, 216thenet.com here on YouTube or um, a couple other places like Google, uh, Spotify, like that type of thing, podcasts. Also, uh, watch uh, or, or, or look at astrologygumbo.com, okay? Now, your joke of the day. Why did the baby strawberry cry? Because she knew her parents were in a jam. There's your joke. Now, this is a very, very interesting reading. For some reason, I felt like I needed to shuffle and throw the cards all over, which means that sometimes I get upside down card readings. Now, Aries, I'm not yelling at you, but you have, you have your, you're not in reality right now. There's something going on where your head is in the clouds or something. You're not getting rid of what you're needing to do. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're off course or something. Your, your, your mind has been taken over by something else. Something else is going on. Now, you need to come back to the ground. You need to be careful with your money. Take a look at everything and decide what you're going to do for your next move. Literally, that's what these cards are saying. And notice that when they're sometimes, and almost every single one is upside down, when the upside down cards appear, it's more of a spiritual thing. It's more of an emotional thing than an actual physical thing, especially when it comes to um, uh, finance and career. Now, there is a change for the better. So it's not, but, but you need to come to the ground and you need to make a game plan. I kind of feel like there's something that you just really, really need to let go of, you know, you don't, have, you don't have the ability. You're not even making your choices properly. You're, you're, it's like you're almost ignoring some of the things you need to be doing. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But now you are going to get your wish though. So it's very interesting. But I, like I said, your inability to get moving, to get going, um, even your, your balance is even off. Okay. See, look at your balance is even off and, but yet you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to, this month is your attempt to get moving. Okay. I feel like maybe you have like this great book within you or something like that, or, or this great plan because look at it's upside down. Now that means like you've got the idea, you just can't get going and you need to get going because this is going to lead to money and financial success. So here you sit going, hmm, now this is you sitting probably till the middle of the month before you get going. Now, just to let you know, but there, it's almost like the cards are yelling at you a little bit because you are very, very capable, but you are trying really hard to get your act together. And like I said, you're, you're going to get your act together because there's the change and you're going to end up going very quickly forward, but you can't do the change unless you are willing to do the work. And some of you might be even waiting for it to happen to you and it's not going to because you are the one, you are the change for yourself, okay? It's kind of what the cards are saying. It's a very, very interesting situation, the way they sit. And because there are so many upside down cards. And do you see that that's more of an emotional, spiritual connection than just a physical, oh, there's a job. Oh, here's a, okay. Um, I want to say it's run a little bit in fear. Now, Aries, you've always been fearless because you're an Aries, okay? But something's got you, and I'm not sure what that is. You only you know what I mean. But just remember that you should need to own back, take back your own power and use this idea. It's an idea that you just can't keep going or you've been thinking about and procrastinating, which Aries normally doesn't. For some reason you are. So my feeling is it might be fear. Just a thought. Let's pull the other deck because this is a very interesting reading. I felt that I needed to throw the cards around and see if I got anything upside down. They do mean something differently and they don't mean opposite always. So, okay. 
prosperity does lie ahead for you. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you are transforming yourself. Though it is, it is, it is happening. So you've got a new start coming. It hasn't come yet, but you see, you have to get going on this. Expect powerful change. It's powerful change. And this is a change. That card represents change. Surrender to the divine and go with it. Just go with it. Okay. And a personal issue reaches resolution. So something else, and I want to say it has something to do with this. What's the monkey on your back? What's keeping you from living, doing what you're, you came to do? And I feel it's big things. It's not little. Okay. So I want you to think about that. Because it is something that you want and you are going to get your wish. So, with that said, blessings to you. Make it a great, great month and get moving.